Alrighty guys, welcome back to the next episode of the English That Career Mode. Now, in the last episode, we'll have a quick recap as we do on most episodes. Uh, we had a one-all draw here against uh, Hertha. We had a 2-1 win against Hoffenheim. And another one-all draw here against uh, Bayer Leverkusen, which left us uh, on the table third. Uh, not third, sorry. Um, six. So that's actually not too bad. So 11 points from six games is pretty good for a team that's just come to the, for, just come, sorry, to the, uh, to the Bundesliga. And now in this episode... As we go back to the uh, the calendar, we are actually going to be playing uh, the two W teams, so Werder Bremen and Wolfsburg, straight away, and uh, not much break between the two games. So we might have to figure out some rotation squads or something like that. And then we have a game against Augsburg a little bit later on, and then our first game in the German Cup is against uh, Munchen Gladbach, who we already played a little bit earlier. So let's get into this game against Werder Bremen and see if we can get three points. Alrighty, Bremen have a corner here. Yunuzovic is going to be the one to see if he can whip it in. He's actually turned into a bit of a free kick god lately, but we're able to get it clear. And now we, uh, Stefan Lex is still out injured. He's not far away from returning though. So Pledel here, as you can see on the ball, is uh, still in the side, but he should be back on the bench soon when uh, when Lex gets back. Alright, so it looks as like we've got an injury early on. It's Cohen. I'm not sure if we'll be able to run it off. So we'll put Roger on there. The, the more experienced of the backups instead of uh, Pink Bale's the other one. So hopefully he's uh, he's not too bad and he's not going to be missing too many games if he actually is injured. Alright, let's try the old trusty short corner routine. See if we can get it there. Kachunga back to Pledel. Pledel, have a hit son, get in. Oh my god, deflected off the crossbar. Oh my god, what is going on? Kachunga plays through Lecky. Alright, you should have the pace to just get around him here. Oh, maybe not quite. Cut back inside, Lecky. Have a hit, son. Get in, get in. Oh, Matty Lecky makes it 1 0 on the stroke of half time. What a finish. A good ball through from Kachunga. And what a cut inside finish goal. That was brilliant. Does the defender. It looks like it was just a, a little um, tap sort of thing. He didn't even put much effort into the shot. Just a little easy finish. Pretty much dinks it into the back of the net. What a finish just before half time. Oh, Bartel's going to whip it in. Go get rid of this. There we go. Kachunga. There we go, Pledel. We might be on a bit of a break here. Cut up. There we go, Kachunga. Play it up again. Lucky. Lucky play through Kachunga. Oh, no. To Kachunga. Oh, my God. It got there eventually. Play run around the keeper, Kachunga. There we go. Finish it. 2-0. There we go. That is the, the goal that we needed to push away. Just to give us a little bit of breathing space here against Werder Bremen. And that is a beautiful... I didn't think it was... The first ball from Lecky was meant to go to Kachunga. And somehow it went to... I'm not sure who it was in the midfield. I think it might have been Gross. But it actually ended up going to Kachunga, who made it 2-0. Oh, the header. Oh, my God. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. The header. Oh, my God. It's gone in. Oh, that is craziness. It was a good save from the first header by Nyland. Unfortunately, couldn't tip it over the bar. And it's just squeezed in off the post. 2-1. Oh, Bartels has done us on the wing there. Passes it in. Got to get rid of it. Oh, my God. Cruz just put it wide. We're having a habit of throwing away leads lately, so let's not do it again. All right, Hartman. Let's see if you can play through Matty Leckie. Play him through. Oh, what a ball there. Matt Leckie. What can you do? Oh, he's done him there. Keep going. Pass it down. Pass it down. Finish it, Vonovec. Oh, my God. It's gone in. Vonovec has put it in the back of the net to make it 3-1 to Ingolstadt. I don't know how it's gone in. Matty Leckie did all the work. It was a beautiful through ball from Hartman initially. Passes it up to Vonovec, and the keeper really should be doing better there. What a finish, though. Oh, play him through. What a ball here to Pledel. Oh, keep going, Pledel. Pass it back. Hartman, have a hit. Oh, my God. It's 4-1. Pledel could have probably kept going, to be fair, but I passed it back into Big Mo. And he just does the business, puts it into the back of the net, past the keeper, 4-1. And that's the end of the game, guys. A big 4-1 victory there against Werder Bremen. Probably the easier of the two W teams we're about to come, up with, to come up against at the start of this episode. But it was definitely three points that we needed to help us sort of stay at the top of the table, stay near the top of the table anyway. And um, see what other... Schalke had a win, Bayer Lever Leverkusen had a win. Um, so we've actually been scouting this guy. I'll have a, have a quick uh, look at him now. And uh, he looks crazy. I only have been looking at him because his contract is expiring. So we might be able to have a look at him at maybe a pre-contract for next year. Really quick. But then great dribbling. And um, could be a nice sort of addition to the squad. So we'll um, add him to the shortlist anyway. And then there's a couple of other people I've been scouting. Um, this this centre-back actually looks pretty good. Fairly quick. Really strong. Only 20. And um, yeah, he looks really solid. And then uh, this left-back, pretty quick, pretty strong as well. And uh, he looks pretty good also. So uh, there might be some players where I just sort of 
having you know, put my feelers out there for maybe next season or you know in the January transfer window or something like that. Um, but Cohen is going to be out for three weeks, so that's not too bad. Uh, we should be able to manage without him. A little bit annoying that we're probably... Uh, I might even leave Roger out. I was going to say, we might have to put Roger back in, but I might just leave him out. And uh, who's going to leave on international duty? Kalash, Nyland, and Uzkan. So that's not too bad. So let's get in this game against Wolfsburg and try and get another big, big win. Alrighty, so a couple of changes to this squad for the next game. Kimikon's coming on on the right to replace Pledel, and Morales is coming in to replace Gross, and Bauer's coming in for the uh, the injured Cohen. So hopefully that's a good enough squad to get us the win here against Wolfsburg. It's going to be a very, very tough game, though. Uh, Gila Vogi plays it into Luis Gustavo. What can he do to Aaron Hunt? But we've got him here. Alright, let's see if we can play through. Get rid of it. Oh, got to get rid of this again. Didn't meant to go to Kachunga, but we'll go through. Kachunga, play it through, play it through, Kimikon, play it up to Kachunga, finish it, oh my god, is it a goal? It is, it's 1-0 to Ingolstadt, Kimikon gets his first assist for the squad, I think, that was a beautiful passing move here, I'm not sure, I thought um, Kachunga was going to be offside there, but he's held his run, he's got his sixth goal in the Bundesliga, he is ripping it apart, oh, Morales plays out to Danilo, Danilo, oh, passes it in well, oh, the shot, oh, Bauer almost puts it in the back of the net, I meant to do a fake shot to, to cut back outside there, but um, Bauer actually takes a shot. It was a fail fake shot. Almost goal. Oh, Lecky on a little diagonal run here again. Play him inside. Kimikon, you're through, son. Kimikon, have a hit. Get in. Oh, he's just put it wide, the young Frenchman. Oh, would have been brilliant. Unlucky. He's getting a chance here, and we're going to see what he can do, the lone player. And he's put it just wide. Oh, Luis Gustavo's played it in. Bentner. Oh, what a save, Nyland. What a huge hand there. Now let's see if we can get rid of this corner. We don't want to concede here. Get rid of it. No one's going to get near it. That's craziness. Oh, we've got to hold up here. Sherlock with the turn with the hit. Nyland again with a big save. He's playing out of his skin. He's been such a great pickup. I'm glad that uh, whoever was before me bought him. That's a great buy. And uh, let's see what we can do. Get rid of this. Oh, it should be ours to get rid of here. Oh my god, DaCosta didn't win it. Oh my god, I think he did, but I think the pressure they're going to put under makes another corner. It's going to be a long highlight here. Alright, let's see if we can get rid of this. Finally! Oh, there we go. Not a very good clearance though. Schaefer. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can play through to Kachunga. No! Oh, yes, keep going, Kachunga! Keep going! Oh my god, you're through! You're through! Finish it! Get in! Oh my god, it's hit the post! No! Oh, Matip with the beautiful block at the start. Perisic is on the right hand, or the left hand side here, sorry. Zawada, whoever that is. No, not a penalty. No! I didn't even mean to make that challenge. Oh, that is so frustrating. The big dude just got in the way. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, it's going to be Schurler against Nyland here. Who can win? Oh, he's going for the stutter. Oh my god, he's missed it. Schurler has missed the penalty. He's slipped over in the rain. Oh, one of those scripted ones, I would imagine. But now let's see if we can go up the other end and get a winner. Oh my god, no way. Can we actually do it? Pledel, play through. Matt Leckie, get in. Matt Leckie, get in. <gasps> it's blocked by Naldo. What a block. That was insane. All right, let's we've got to try the short corner routine. Let's see if we can get there. Get there. Bauer. Bauer to Hartman. Big Mo, have a hit. Oh, straight at Grun. Oh, disappointing one-all draw, but to be fair, we could have lost that at the end with the penalty that uh, Schurler missed. He absolutely shanked it, and uh, we could have won. We had some chances, but a little bit, unfortunately, uh, it ended in a draw, and I suppose that's kind of um, kind of fair given the, the run of play there. Alrighty, so here's the squad we're going to be using against Augsburg, and you'll notice that we are back to full fitness. Big Sexy Lexi is back from injury, and Cohen is back from injury. There was about two weeks break between... Uh, the, uh, the Wolfsburg game and this Augsburg game. So it allowed uh, Cohen and Lex to get back to full fitness and we are back to a full squadron, which is beautiful. Let's go into this game and get a big victory. Oh, there we go. Kachunga, can you play through Lecky? Can you do... Oh, he's cut back as well. Lecky, you should be through here. Keep running, keep running, Lecky. And finish it. 1-0. Come on. Uh-oh, we got problems here. Alton top. Oh, my God. Got problems here. Moravec on the on the corner. Oh my god, Babadia, he's hit the crossbar. Ah, oh, Kachunga cuts inside, does well. Oh my god, Kachunga gets taken out, surely. No! Clean! Pleto with a turn. Plays through Lecky. Can he burst away? No, not quite. Ah, oh, passes it across. 
Playing through. Lucky, finish it. Get in. <gasps> Lucky, you've got to finish that, son. Oh, no. Oh, uh, Alton Top plays it to full now. What can he do? We've got to try and get a break from this. Get a break. No, it's the end of the game. A one-all draw. So, so frustrating. Oh, that's so annoying. We should have probably done a little bit better in that game. Oh, I'm really disappointed in that game. The draws are really going to gonna hurt us this season, but we continue to get points. That's the main thing. So, um, looks like Hubner's not happy about his playtime, which is a little bit ironic because he's about to get a game now in the cup because we're going to play a pretty much full rotation squad in this cup game, and it's going to be against Borussia Mönchengladbach. So I want to save our best players um, for the Bundesliga. I've never been a cup team. So hopefully we can do that. Plurtle wants to wants to play a game and he will do so also. Playing through. Oh my god, is it through? Oh my god, it's gone in. What just happened? Plurtle has got the ball in the back of the net against Summer, who when we played him in the uh, when we played him in the league, Summer was absolutely all over us. But it was a great ball through, and Plurtle got pretty much fouled as he hit it, but it's gone into the back of the net. One nil. Oh, I've got problems here. Traore, what can he do? He's doing skills. Oh my god, he's put it in the back of the net. Past Uzkan. That was insane. Traore just bolted it in. That was craziness. Let's watch that again. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Completely done us. And then at the near post, really should be getting saved. Oh, Plato, Plato over the top. Is Kimikon onside? I think he might be. Can he finish it? Get in, Kimikon. <gasps> he's put it wide. No. No, PSG are going to want you to be shooting better for that when you go back off loan. Oh my god, that is insane. Oh, Traore here. What can he do? Crosses it across. Surely he's going to be a goal. And her go to puts it in the back of the net. And that is the end of the game, guys. A disappointing 2-1 defeat to Munch and Gladbach. But uh, we couldn't really do anything. One thing that I did notice from that uh, from that game is that, first of all, Hintasia is useless. Just so slow, so big, so dumb on the ball that it's just dumb. And um, let's just have a quick look at the, the player rating. So here we go. So it wasn't good. Kimikon actually had the best game out of everyone, and he only got a 5.5. Morales played okay. So Roger and Hintasia, first of all, we're going to have to list them up soon because they are absolutely useless. Roger is... And, and Hintasia, they're both just too big, too slow, too useless on the ball that you can't do anything with them. Um, Bredgeray and Hubner actually had decent games, so they couldn't be, they might be decent backup centre backs, but we need to get rid of Hintasia, we need to get rid of Roger, and I think we need to bring in, maybe even get rid of Peckart and just get a decent backup striker that, um, that isn't useless. Alrighty, before we get any further and to end this episode, we need to sort out a couple of things. We need to put some people on the transfer list, but we need to give them some contracts. So Roger, we're going to be putting on the transfer list because we don't want anyone to go for free. We want to get some money back out of them, and it looks like he doesn't want to bump up in his wage or anything like that. So we'll keep him as an important first team player. We'll just keep everything the same for him, and then he should really accept it. And then Brejury, where is he? Nine. So he just wants another year as well. So that's fine. We'll keep him as an important first team player. That's not too bad at all. So at least that'll sort that out. They should both accept. And then that'll um, free us up to sell Roger instead of... Because if we didn't actually do that, in January, they could come... Uh, uh, clubs could come in for Roger and Brejury and, and uh, get them on pre-contract agreements because they're both old enough. So now we can actually sell him for a bit of cash. So Brejury will keep around for a little bit just to see how he goes. Alright, so it looks like you can't really do anything while they're um, currently negotiating a contract. But once that is done in the next episode, we will put Roger on the transfer list. And we will probably put... I think I've already done it. We will put Hintersnare on the transfer list as, all, as well. So once Roger actually accepts his contract, which he should, we'll put him back on the transfer list and try and get some cash for him. But him and Hintersnare are definitely going out of the club in January, hopefully. And we might be able to use that cash to either strengthen the, the squad through wages or um, like maybe put some contracts out or something like that from our, from our existing players. Or maybe look at bringing in a decent backup striker because even Mo Hartman hasn't been that great. So, that'll be the end of the episode though. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've been Vio and peace.